work is to connect the community with nature and help them to understand the value of it and the importance of it in their own well-being as well as the well-being of their community. One of the functions of the first meeting that you have in their community is to ask them who are we missing? Who else should we invite? So once I understood the value of uh, nature conservation work and why it was important to uh, communities, I, I, I just bought into it wholeheartedly. I saw it as a, a means and a mechanism for healing hurts and pains in communities that were stressed by the economy. So all this stuff converged, but the community still weren't entirely buying it until we started to come in, I think, with the Chicago Wilderness, and we really partnered with everybody who was already doing this and kind of got some momentum moving. In my experience, there aren't a lot of people in urban communities sitting around talking about the fact that nature is the life support system of all of humanity. But we're beginning to understand how everything is connected. Climate change is global. Its impacts are inescapable. No longer can we move to a cleaner river or a more pleasant place. Climate change can't be avoided. Our true relationship with nature is being revealed. And my idea of environment had changed from being not just about loss of species and habitat and pollution and all the things that we traditionally think of as uh, environment, but that it included people, that people were part of the environment. And so how we treated each other was really the, at the foundation of what was going on in the physical environment around us. And so it was about human rights and gender equality and economic equity and, and all the ways we relate to one another. Every culture has a relation to nature in general, and urban nature specifically. We're taught that science is a-cultural and that it's just some generic thing, but in fact, every culture has a science. It's embedded in language, it's embedded in practice, it's embedded in stories. What really excited me about Audubon was that at its local and at its national level, the organization has a deep commitment to creating conservation, solutions that work for people and for nature. So really taking into account what communities need. And that one of their two strategies to achieve this goal, embedded in their strategic plan, is to work with diverse communities to reach these conservation solutions. So nature conservation is, is more than just preserving the forest and the, and the getting rid of invasive species in terms of the environment, but it's also connected people with getting rid of the invasive ideas about segregation and, and trying to compete and all of that other stuff. That's pretty much gotten our economy to where it is today. There's really great innovation um, in, cons in conservation um, that's happening throughout Chicago's diverse communities. But it's not necessarily recognized because it takes place in different terms, in different communities, at different geographies, at different scales, and with different language to describe the work. One of the great opportunities that we have in Chicago is that we have a wealth of different cultural perspectives and practices, our cultural diversity, that we can couple with our conservation efforts to preserve our biodiversity. We had better conversations amongst adults and with the kids, and we saw intergenerational learning. The, those are very inspiring moments uh, for what we do, that we recognize that we're helping somebody make a connection to who they are as a human being. You know, being, being in nature is part of being a human being. A whole group of really important figures in Chicago's history came together and said, you know, we really need to set aside nature so it can be enjoyed by people for future generations. And really think about how we're going to make sure that the Forest Preserve System of Cook County is uh, is as important as it was 100 years ago and that it's relevant to new generations of people. We talk about preservation, enhancement and expansion, education and coordination in preserving our natural resources. When you connect the community with nature and help them to take their attention off of their own physical situations and, and embrace and enjoy the beauty of nature and see how if we don't work on conserving nature, we won't have it anymore there's a transformation that takes place. I firmly believe a lot of those young people will either have a baseline of just, I enjoy nature and want to protect it, to I want to be involved with this, I want to make this a career opportunity. And I think that's, we have a responsibility to do that. We wanted parents, and especially grandparents, to stay and participate and learn with the kids. 
And when we would approach parents and guardians, you know, they would say, well, I don't know anything about science. I don't know anything about this. I'm not a teacher, you know. And what we wanted to sh kind of show them was that they, in fact, are. At the American Indian Center, I've, I have heard a lot about the learning up so that the kids are learning and then they are teaching their parents and it's greatly appreciated. It's the revival, a rebirth of, of cultural knowledge. I mean, that's the kind of journey we're on where we just take the next step and the next step with our intentions being what they are, we will succeed.